Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to the teaching show. I'm Dr. Poonam Nigam and today I'm going to take a problem on recycle with multiple reactions. This appeared in GATE 1996. So let's uh, directly start doing the problem. So I will explain to you uh, the problem statement first. Two reactions are taking place. We are trying to make formaldehyde out of methanol. So it is formed by two reactions. One is the oxidation of methanol and the other one is the decomposition of methanol. So these two reactions are taking place in the reactor. Okay. So you have a fresh feed which contains oxygen which is coming at the rate of 0.5 kilomoles per hour. It is told that methanol is used in excess but its flow rate is not given. Now this mixes with the combined uh, with the recycled stream which contains only methanol and the flow rate is given as 1 kilomoles per hour. So this recycled stream it joins the fresh feed and enters the reactor. Over here it is given that oxygen is completely consumed. Okay and uh, you have like these things which are coming out. Then this stream from the reactor it goes into the separator from where your uh, formaldehyde and water they are drawn as the product. Hydrogen is removed and whatever the methanol it is recovered back and recycled to the reactor. Okay, so this is the problem statement. Now you have been asked to calculate what is the amount of methanol which is going in the fresh feed and what is the single pass conversion over the reactor. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so let's start by first of all finding out what is the degree of freedom on the overall system. Okay, so let's use atomic species balance. Uh, how many variables do you have? One, two, three, four. So you have four variables. How many independent atomic species balance you can write? You have three species carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So your degree of freedom is one. You cannot uh, take a balance on the overall system. Let's go and check it on the reactor. This time because there are two reactions, what I will do is and there are so many components. Uh, I will just check degree of freedom using extent of reaction. Let's say how many variables I have. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay. And plus I have two reactions. Fine. Uh, so 9. And how many uh, equations I can write? 5. Okay. There are uh, some things which are given like this oxygen, whatever is going in should be coming over here because this stream does not contain any oxygen. Okay. So one thing I know, this oxygen is um, again uh, 0. And then one more information is given. And what that information is, I will read to you from the problem statement. Okay. It says that... Uh, the ratio of methanol reacting by decomposition uh, to that by oxidation was 3. Okay. So one more information is given. So you have 5 equations. Uh, 1, 2, 3. 3 conditions you have. So in all you have 8 things. But you have how many variables? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9 variables. So degree of freedom is 1. You cannot solve right away. If you check on the separator, again you have degree of freedom which does not come out to be 0. If you check this mixing point, again you will see 1, 2, 3. Uh, okay, so 3 unknowns. Uh, how many equations do you have? 2. I can write oxygen balance and then methanol balance. Okay, so again degree of freedom is 1. Uh, let's start uh, from where the degree of freedom is 1. And let's see if... Um, I get some information which I can use later on and then use back the information. Okay. So let's try to do that. Fine. So uh, I will first take my balance over here because degree of freedom is 1. I can take oxygen balance since there is no oxygen in this feed, uh, in, in this recycle stream. So whatever oxygen going to the reactor, it is coming from the fresh feed. So your N11 is directly 0 0.5 kilomoles per hour okay so one thing i know now still degree of freedom is one on the reactor why because this equation we had counted further it is given that oxygen it is not coming out it is used completely so i know that my n13 is equal to zero okay i have used two conditions out of the eight and the third one which i will use uh, in a moment first but first let's use extent of reaction 
and write down the compositions uh, write down the composition of this product stream which is coming out from the reactor so extent of reaction i am going to use but there are two reactions so there will be two extents of reaction so let's call zeta 1 and zeta 2 okay so let's write down for oxygen first okay uh, oxygen is consumed only in the first reaction what is going in is n11 that is 0 0.5 so and what is coming out is n13 so i have n13 that is equal to n11 minus zeta now n13 is 0 okay and n11 is 0.5 so equal to 0 0.5 minus zeta 1 okay this is the first reaction so from here directly i get that zeta 1 is equal to 0 0.5 Okay, one equation we have used. Let's write second equation for methanol. Okay, methanol which is coming out is N3. How much is going in? That is N12. I don't know how much that is. And how much is getting consumed? Over here, let's see. Minus 2 times zeta 1 minus zeta 1, 2. Okay, so this is second equation. Let's write down for formaldehyde. Okay, how much is coming out? That is N4 and it is equal to nothing is going in. So 0 and it is being produced in, the bo in both the reactions. So stoichiometric coefficient times zeta 1. So I have plus 2 zeta 1 plus zeta 2. Okay. Now I am going to write for H2O. Nothing is going in. Only it is coming out. Okay. So I have N5 that is equal to again 0 plus because it is generated. So it is plus 2 plus 2 times zeta 1. Now I will write for hydrogen. So hydrogen nothing is going in. Only it is coming out. So it is N6. 0 plus where it is generated in the second reaction so it is zeta 2 okay so now uh, I have to find now zeta 1 I have calculated I will use one other information which is given and then I will find out the value of zeta 2 okay I will keep these equations like this um, first I will calculate in this box what do you mean what is another relation which was given and what was that that methanol it is uh, decomposing thrice as much as it is getting oxidized okay so methanol which is consumed in this reaction is three times what it is consumed in this reaction that means the change in the number of moles of methanol in this reaction is three times the change in the number of moles in this reaction okay so i'm going to write this as change in number of moles okay in 1 upon oh sorry 2 because 2 is to 1 one ratio that ratio is given 2 is to 1 okay so uh, the change in the number of moles in second reaction divided by the change in number of moles in first reaction okay that is given as 3 Agreed? How many, react, uh, how many moles are reacting? That is equal to the change in the number of moles. Okay? And that is given as 3. Fine? Now, you have learned before that your change in number of moles, what is that? Ni minus Ni0, that is equal to nu times your zeta. Okay? So, the change in the number of moles I can write in terms of nu and zeta. Okay, so I am going to write this over here as change in the number of moles uh, in second reaction that is equal to your new in the second reaction that is minus 1. So minus 1 times minus 1, I am not going to write 1, okay, minus 1 zeta 2 upon over here it is minus 2. So minus 2 zeta 1 and that is equal to 3, okay. Or if I rearrange this equation, what I get is that zeta 2 that is equal to 
6 times zeta 1. So I have got this equation that is the relation between zeta 2 and zeta 1. Okay, from this information which was given. So my zeta 2 is equal to 6 times zeta 1. Zeta 1 comes out to be 0.5. So my zeta 2 is equal to 6 times 0.5. That is zeta 2 is equal to 3. Okay, this is the only thing which you have to understand in this problem. Other things are very easy. Okay. So I have now calculated my zeta 1 and zeta 2. So I am going to write all these, uh, all these equations in terms of now zeta 1 and zeta 2 and see what values we can find. Okay. So now n3 that is equal to n12 minus 2 times zeta 1 that is 1 minus 3. So uh, that is okay. This is n12 minus 4. This gives you 2 times zeta 1 that is 1 plus zeta 2 that is 3 so n4 is equal to 4 n5 is equal to 2 times zeta 1 that is 1 and n6 is equal to zeta 2 that is 3 and all these are in kilomoles per hour okay so let me go and update my uh, flow chart now and see what values i have got i have got the value of n4 that is equal to 4 n5 is 1, n6 is 3, okay, and there was 1 degree of freedom on this, so that's why I couldn't calculate n3, because I have an equation now, one equation in n12 and n3, but I don't know either of them, okay, so let's go and now solve on the separator, let's see what happens on the separator, how many equations do I, uh, how many unknowns I have, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I have 4 unknowns. How many um, molecular species balance I can write? I can write on methanol, formaldehyde, water and hydrogen. So I have 4 molecular species and 4 unknowns. Okay. So I my degree of freedom is 0. So I can quickly calculate all these. Okay. So uh, what will my methanol balance give, will give me? This is simply going in is equal to out. So N3 will be equal to N10. So my N3 is equal to now. 1 kilomole per hour okay now uh, formaldehyde what is going in is coming out so n4 is equal to n7 so that is 4 kilomoles per hour h2o n5 is equal to n8 so it is 1 kilomole per hour h2 n6 is equal to n9 so that is 3 kilomoles per hour okay so now uh, on the separator it is solved and we have uh, you know uh, we have now one more information that is n3 value we know okay so now i can go back on the reactor because i have one more piece of information now so degree of freedom at reactor has now reduced to zero so i can go and calculate n12 n12 will be nothing but n3 plus 4 and n3 is 1 so n12 is equal to 5 kilomoles per hour okay now when I know this information, again I go and check back at the mixing point. Now I have only one variable and one equation. So my N2 that will be equal to what? So I have N12 plus N10 that is equal to N2 or N2 will be equal to 5 minus 1 that is 4 kilomoles per hour. So the problem is solved. You have been asked how much methanol is uh, present in the fresh feed. So that is 4 kilomoles per hour. And you have been asked what is the uh, single pass conversion that we will find out. So let's again I will make a box and find out my single pass conversion. So your percentage conversion that is equal to okay how much has reacted divided by how much is being fed. How much is reacted is fed minus out okay so fed is 5 out is 1 divided by fed in 200 so i have 4 by 5 in 200 that is 80 percent so my single pass conversion is 80 percent so very simple problem and we could do it in few minutes and uh, even though it looks very difficult that it has 
two reactions okay and then degree of freedom nowhere it turns out to be zero okay but if you go in a systematic way whatever we have learned in this subject till now you will be able to solve the problem so thanks for watching and uh, if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button uh, thanks a lot